In this video, we're talking emojis. I know they're not essential, but sometimes they lead the eye to a label, perhaps. But I just wanted to show you how we can deal with them inside DaVinci Resolve's Inspector and the Effects Library. And I'm going to start with the Effects Library because it is the easiest. So if we come up to the Effects Library and then go to Titles, and we've got this Favorites here where the catalog is in. I want to add an emoji to the favorites folder or favorites bin and I want to add an emoji in here. The quickest way to get to these folders is to actually come to the fusion page. So if you select the fusion page, come into the effects library, templates, edit, and you go to whatever folder that you want to add an emoji or whatever macro you want to add an emoji. You can't do it to the default macros um, you can but every time they update it it would go but you can do it to third party macros so you might want to just use it as organization or just to be different while i'm on here if i right click i can select show folder that then up opens the folder with the macro in i go up one level and i can see here there is the folder that is the bin that is situated here now I need to grab an emoji. An emoji is a Unicode character. It's basically a font and that's why they work. You can put them anywhere you would put a font or a title or anything, a label, whatever you want. As long as it's text, then you can use an emoji instead of a letter. I'm going to grab this first place medal and I'm going to copy it. The link for this website will be in the description. It's Emojipedia. There are lots of different emoji websites out there but all the emojis will be basically the same they look different on different devices but they come from the same unicode pack in our folder i'm actually going to add this as the second character and the reason i'm doing that is because the hash at the beginning will put it at the top of my category in the effects library so now i've added it DaVinci Resolve responded and sometimes you have to restart DaVinci Resolve. In fact, most times you have to restart DaVinci Resolve. But now you can see that emoji is in our bin here. So we can see it here. Let's move that over. And we can also see it here. To add it to this catalog here is a little bit different. And the reason is, let's go back into show folder. And here we are. This image here is the thumbnail. And I'm going to do a short video on thumbnails in the near future because there are thumbnails built into DaVinci Resolve. They're all over. All these images here are just thumbnails, which you can actually use in your own macros. And I'll show you where to find them, etc. But the trick with this is these two, so the actual thumbnail and the actual macro, must be exactly the same. It must be named the same to work. This might look a little bit different than yours because I have it set up to open with Visual Studio Code by default. But all I need to do is drop in the emoji there, but I also need to add it to the thumbnail. And this definitely needs a restart in Fusion. And if I close that and I come back to the edit page, occasionally it needs a restart here, but no. So now we've got the emoji in both the macro inside the effects library and the bin inside the effects library. Next up, I'm going to show you how to add it into a macro. Now there is two ways, and the first way is just when you're building a macro. I'm going to jump into Fusion and make a very, very quick macro. An important thing to remember here is if the information isn't going to be inside the macro so for example here it says text here um, when we go to create macro so i'm just going to select all these and go macro create macro if we come down to that text so here is style text that doesn't show in a macro so what i'm going to do is select all these first and then just for size, just to show you, if we paste in that emoji and then we save it out, when we now bring in that macro, next to size, we've got 
the emoji but in the macro there is no style text it doesn't say style text here so if we added an emoji to the style text it wouldn't show because it's not going to show in here by default but anything else that's down here we can add an emoji very simply when we're building a macro next thing we can do is we can add emojis in the code so if i open this in visual studio code you can actually see where the emojis are anyway where we see it says name then this is the name inside a button in this case for this example so if i just go back to davinci resolve and i bring in that catalog and have a look in here so you can see we've got davinci resolve cloud update i jump back in the code and there we go davinci resolve cloud update if i pop an emoji in there and then save it then what will happen and what i like as well is the emoji shows in here when you when you've added it to the name here it shows here and i go back into the catalog and then now the emoji is there so that is really simple ways of just adding emoji anywhere you can add a text then you can add an emoji that's it for today enjoy the rest of your day thanks for watching